Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 6 of Old World Tutorial. We are on the 5th tutorial, which is probably going to be one of the longer ones because we're essentially trying to win a game, although we've got fewer... Um, no, now known as Philip the Good. Uh, we're essentially trying to win a game, although we do have uh, fewer ambitions to get here than we would in a full game. Uh, we've completed the ambition, have Alexander marry and produce an heir, so that gives us plus 10 legitimacy. Uh, new court soldier, Prince Alexander has given birth to a son, and our son has given into his basic desires. More often than lately, he has lost discipline. Ambition completed. Well done. You have secured the line of succession. Philip, you are the current leader, to be followed by Alexander, and then by Pyrrhus. Okay, so is that is that is two ambitions. So we've got eight more to do. We need to research navigation and train a briary. That shouldn't take too long. And build the Oracle World Wonder. That's going to be one of the longer ones. We'll get navigation on the next turn. Uh, I'm just using my scout to uh, uncover some stuff right now. Just trying to pick up extra food and things where possible. Oh, no, you can, can move no further. Let's end the year. Uh, Civics Boom in Syracuse. Okay, so now there's some other things that we can pick here. It hasn't give us, given us anything specifically needed, but let's pick... This is one of those one-use tiles, border growth. So let's go pick that one up. And uh, what have we got down here? Anything useful? Some crab. Start moving back with the scout. Build a birene, yes. You have finished researching navigation and are able to build a birene. A birene requires 50 iron and 50 wood to train. After making a total stockpile of at least 50 iron and 50 wood, order one of your cities to train a birene. Uh, we have enough. Uh, from the uh, Attack on Philip. From the balcony of the palace, Pella is a beautiful sight. Absorbed in Pella's glory, Philip missed... Hearing the scrape of a heel on stone as the assassin struck. Philip is fatally wounded during the assassination attempt and is rushed to the royal hospital. After many hours, it is bad news for Greece. After a glorious reign, the royal doctors state there is nothing more they can do for Philip. King Philip the Good is doomed to die in the next turn. Okay, so now we're going to see how uh, character death uh, works uh, in this game. Uh, we need to build that byreen. That's going to be over here when that fissure is finished. We also need to start cutting some wood. I've got another worker coming here in the capital, which we'll use for doing that. So we'll end the turn. The following ambitions now have legacies. Research navigation and train a byreen, which has 20 years left, because it was our father's legacy. And build the oracle wonder of the world, again, has 20 years left, because that was our father's legacy. The reign of Alexander. King Alexander the New has taken over as the leader of Greece. Philip's ambitions have become legacy ambitions. You have 20 turns to complete them. If you do not complete the legacy ambition, you will fail this tutorial. Well, I don't want to fail the tutorial, so I best get my finger out. I'm not going to cancel that fissure. I don't... How long will it take to build a byreen? Th three turns, so we don't have to worry about that one. How long will it take a worker... We've got one year, we'll have a free worker anyway, so I don't need to worry about that either. So I think we're okay. Uh, this worker has finished building that. We can get the Hanging Gardens here. The Hanging Gardens is another wonder, which we don't specifically need. Uh, we can go and get the honey here, can we not? No? Oh, we can't, we can't build on that. We could get a Shrine of Poseidon. We could get a, an Odeon here. Do we need another Rodian? We could work on the Oracle here, but I think we need to get it in the capital. Uh, what's it wanting me to build here? An Odeon. Okay, sure. I could also use him to um, get some trees, to be honest, but I don't think that's necessarily needed. Uh, this is... Yeah, just all of my military units seem to be waking up for no apparent reason. Let's just start moving back over this way with our scout. Choose a production in Pella. So this is the capital. So Stonecutter has completed. Uh, what do we want to get here? I mean, more miners would be useful. Food is still pretty lacking, so let's go and get another, another farmer. Okay, end the turn. 
So, you have now finished what you were doing. We want the Oracle over here. Can we afford it? Um, yes. Okay, now it's worked this time. Because we actually have enough gold. So, that, that'll take 10 turns. But that'll be within the 20. So, we are fine. Uh, we have a new worker over here. The reason the... Um, the reason units have different colours uh, iconography, uh, so the blue represents me as the player colour. So all of the all of the units with the blue icon background are mine, but the different um, icon colours and the different borders represent the families that they belong to. So this uh, builder was produced here by the Seleucid family, it's the patrons. It's their it it belongs to them. Whereas the green ones will belong to the um, uh, Sipsilid family, the artisans. So it does it does make a difference. And I think we've got yeah we've got these ones as well. The um, the purple ones that belong to uh, another different family. So it's an interesting uh, it's an interesting way of doing things. We can actually upgrade. Um, what have we got selected here? A worker. What do you upgrade to? Upgrade to militia? What does a militia do? It's melee infantry. Upgrades from a worker, upgrades to a conscript. So we can upgrade workers to militia, um, but then they, they no longer are able to be a worker. So not that great. So yeah, let's go and um, cut some trees. But remember, we don't want to clear the land. If you if you clear the land, it will not grow back. So we don't want to be doing that. Um, next unit. So, this is the one weird thing with the scout. I mean, it is nice that you can sort of run around and... and uh, there is an automate option now, yeah. Let's put him on, on automate. I guess he'll only work at the end of the turn uh, and use any existing orders. I was going to say, I, the, the one problem with using the scout to run around is that you are using up orders. And if you have any orders remaining at the end of the turn, you automatically uh, sell them for gold. We're actually losing a little bit of gold at the moment. Uh, worker is completed here, so we could work on something else. We could theoretically um, train a Byreen here. There's nothing to say that we can't um, work on two. Um, so uh, you have converted to Greek Paganism. Their whole family is now converted. Coinage could be useful. We don't... Oh, 24 years. That's a high level tech. We should probably do some of the earlier ones. Um, exploration. Forum. Epics, Polis, we can declare war, build walls, Hamlet, we probably want to go for Polis, don't we really? So we can build some walls, protect ourselves a little bit. And yeah, you probably just want to go round and cut trees. And the good thing is it's an instant action and we can do it multiple times per turn and uh, really rack up the amount of wood that we've got coming in. We are making gold uh, now, so that's fine. And uh, we've got the gold mine, so that's probably part, partially the reason for that. Uh, we can build a farm over here. Probably not a bad idea. So let's work on that. So let's, uh, let's get another bireme over here. It does say build a navy, not just a single ship. Although the ambition is only to build a single ship. But we can build the entire navy. We do have a worker over here. Um, let's go and grab that just because it is out on the west. And then we'll come back and we'll, we'll grab a farm. Let's end the year. So do I want to continue tree cutting with you? Probably. And you're out of movement so that's fine. Uh, Syracuse, you are going to do what? I mean, you could get a buy room as well if you wanted to. Uh, let's go and put uh, somebody in the trapper slot. This should improve the amount of gold that we get coming in from there. 
end the year. So we are getting close to these other uh, ambitions. Um, so the Queen Dowager has converted to Greek Paganism. I thought she was anyway. Or was that just in the previous uh, previous tutorial? Discovered another landmark. I'm just going to use the default names for landmarks for the purposes of the tutorial. Doesn't seem to be much point in changing them. Uh, we can also get net on these pearls. So let's go and do that. Uh, choose a production in Pella. What should we work on here? We could get some more stone coming in. Uh, let's get a miner, actually. Because that'll also give us some more... Um, training. Are we capped here? Because it's bang on 2,000. That seems very much like it might be a cap. Let's check on the next uh, turn. Yeah, still at, still at 2,000. It doesn't say anything about there being a cap. But it looks like there is. Okay, so what do we do with this guy? I guess we go over here and like build a farm or something. So that's fine. We should probably therefore uh, promote some units. Let's give you brave. Yeah, we'll promote a few units up because it looks like we've we've hit a cap here. So there's no point just sort of hanging on to it. Ignores distance modifier, leads to marksman. That sounds like a great thing to have for a ranged unit. We can promote you. More combat strength. Sure. There's probably a lot more that I could upgrade. You're looking for a promotion. Uh, let's give you guard, maybe, and focus. You two upgrades a turn, which is a nice thing that we can do. You're going to cost 100 to promote. You've already got strike one. Let's give you strike two. And what about you? We'll give you a promotion. Um, let's give you steadfast. That's probably enough for now. We've spent 750. On to the next unit. You have done that, so let's get... This wants us to build an Odeon. But I think a farm is probably more beneficial. So let's do that and end the year. We've completed the legacy. Research, navigation and build a Byrene. Plus five legitimacy. Uh, you look on proudly as the first Byrene rolled into the sea. The oars look like giant spider legs as you watch the Byrene glides quickly around the point. Continue working on other ambitions. Southern Island. Investigations into Philip's assassination have found that the assassin fled south from Pella across the sea to a southern island. Use a Byreen to locate the island and use a settler to found a city on the island. When a city reaches developing culture, it gains the ability to rush anything it is building. Depending on certain requirements, this will use different resources depending on the rush method. Each turn that an item is being produced, normally by a city, decreases the amount of resources needed to rush it. Rushing an item completes the item on the following turn. However, there is always discontent cost to rushing. To rush a settler, open Pella and then click the settler button while holding the control key to put one at the head of the queue. Then click on the civics rush button under the settler build item. You may need to wait a few turns whilst the city produces a settler and decreases the amount of civics needed to rush it. When you can, rush the settler using civics. Next turn, when it becomes available, move the settler to the coast west of the Pindos Mountains. At the same time, move your Byrene to explore south of Pella and locate the southern island. Note, you have been given a large amount of civics to assist with this ambition. So we've started a new ambition. So what we need to do is go to the capital, go to Pella. We're building a miner here. We need to hold control to jump to the start of the queue and click on the settler. So now we're working on the settler. And then we can spend 470 civics. We have 975. And that will rush the settler. So we'll get the settler on the next turn. Okay, understood. That's, that's a mechanic that I am familiar with from previous games. Um... We are going to move down here with the Byring. We need to uh, choose a production over here. We're going to put a miner on the gold tile. In increase the amount of gold that we can hopefully get. Uh, this worker has finished what they were doing. Is there anything interesting we can build on the urban tile? There isn't. Uh, we can go and put... Is it just a farm? Is that the only option we get on, on that? 
Okay, let's put a let's put a farm on there. We'll end the year. And now we've got a settler. Uh, it wants us to put the settler down here. Now I don't know exactly where this southern island is. Is it actually? Is it this island here? Is that why it's told me to move the the by re the settler west of the mountains? So it's not south of P Pella. It's actually here. It's this one where we can see the mountain. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we do have a, another Byreme here. So we can approach it from two angles. Uh, choose a production over here. We can actually get a fisher. That will give us some more gold. Let's work on that. Let's go to the next unit, which is a worker. So we could work... There's a few things that we could work on. This is suggesting a um, mine. Sure. End the year. Okay, so before we move the settler... There we go. Anchoring and navigational transport. In Old World, units move from one side of the water body to another via anchored ships. You do not... You do not load a unit onto a ship and then move the ship to the other side. Instead, an anchored ship has a radius to represent the possible transfer range. A land unit can then move from a coastal tile touching the ship's anchor radius directly to another coastal tile touching the radius. Move your buy ring to the tile marked red and anchor it. Then, after one turn, move a settler from the marked coastal tile west of the Pindos Mountains to the marked coastal tile on the southern island. Okay, that makes sense. So... We move the Byreme here, we anchor the Byreme, and then we can basically just jump straight across there in one turn. Okay, I understand, I understand that. I'll use this Byreme to just do a little bit of, uh, bit of scouting. Choose a production in Pella. Uh, how are we doing? Not doing too bad along most things here. Uh, let's put an Acolyte in there, that'll give us some more civics. Uh, can't move you across there yet because the ship isn't anchored. So you're going to uh, skip the turn. And this worker is done. This is suggesting a quarry. So sure. Okay, end the turn. Now we get to pick something new. Free Byrene. Sure. So now we can just jump straight across here with the settler. And, yeah, we'll we'll settle here. Which one of these do we want to pick, if any? Probably the city defence, right? Because it's a, it's kind of on the frontier. So that's a, a, another ambition done. Alexander, the investigators looking into Philip's assassination found the perpetrator on the southern island. Through questioning, they were able to ascertain the man comes from a tribe calling themselves Thracians. He was waiting for a rescue boat to take him back to his homeland to the north of us. You should send a scout north of our cities to investigate and locate the Thracians. So that gives us a new ambition. So we've com we've completed four ambitions. Uh, we have four ambitions left to do. We only know what two of them are. One of them should be finished in two turns when we complete the Oracle. So that seems like a little bit of a pointless settling, settling of a city, uh, really. But um, we now need to send our scout, who I automated some time ago and have no idea now where he is or what he's doing. Um... Where is my scout? I've lost him completely. Has he... Did he die? Has he run away? He's down here. Right, so you no longer need... To cancel automation. So we need to start moving to the north. The, the black border has now disappeared, so we're going to have to go up there to the north. Uh, I'm also guessing that we're probably going to need another settler. Uh, do we need both these byremes down here? I mean, we might be able to move up and around the outside. Well, no, there's still a black border here. So we are limited as to how far we can go with that byreme. Okay, that's fine. I think we could probably just anchor you and, and leave you there, to be honest. Can we not anchor you on that tile? 
No, we can, we did anchor you on that tower. That's fine. Choose a production here. Well, I guess we should get a worker. Um, on to the next unit. So we've built the farm there. This is recommending another farm. This is recommending a theatre. That's a new uh, upgrade type. So that um, produces... No, that's a hamlet. I didn't want the hamlet. It's this one, the theatre. So that produces four culture a year. Reduces discontent by one a year. But it does cost um, three stone a year. But I think we can... Uh, I think we can do that quite happily. So let's work on the theatre. And that is the end of the year. So, uh, no, don't, don't cancel the theatre. That is the end of the year. So I am going to end the video there, I think. So this is a little bit of a, a longer uh, tutorial because of the things that we have to do. But uh, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you are still enjoying this uh, series of Old World. And I will see you next time. Until then... Goodbye for now.